Hello, welcome. What's going on? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. These aren't real, obviously. I don't wear these glasses, but like the reflection's really bad. We're ranking today, and I want to look like someone who would rank. You know what I mean? Today, today we are going to be tier ranking book talk books. Ones that I've read. Books that I read because of Book Talk. Because Book Talk told me to. I have 47 books, 48 around that, to rank today. Before we start, let me tell you what I'm currently reading right now. I'm currently reading on my Kindle. Twisted Hate in the Twisted series. I'm on page. I'm, I'm, what am I? I'm 57% in, and it's so good. This one is my favorite so far. Oh, alas, here we are. So, let's talk about what tiers we have. How the fuck do I screen record? It's been too long. I don't remember. Man. Ma'am, I love the sound that makes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. First tier, would sell my soul to read this for the first time again. Self-explanatory. Second tier, absolutely slaps. Like this shit is so good, but it's not like sell my soul. Then below that we have, it was fun, but like, like it's missing something it was good but something wasn't quite right something wasn't quite there then we have hmm hmm mm. and you should know what that means then we have kind of sucked ass kind of sucked bleep last but not least we have worst book i've ever read she belongs in the bin you know and then these are the books i'm reading i'm not gonna list them all right now because we're gonna go through all of them <laughs> we don't really have to list them all number one you deserve each other i enjoyed this book so much the banter the banter it's going in absolutely slaps because it slapped second chance i don't know how i feel about it but this in particular i love then we have a not so meet cute this this book was good I think that this was the funniest book I've ever read, hands down. I was laughing. Hold on, I'm getting stressed out. There we go. I literally just shoved a towel into my blind. It's probably not good, but yeah. So I'm putting this in absolutely slaps because I've never laughed so hard at a book. I just never have, and I don't know if I will again. Then we have Icebreaker. This book became so popular so fast, and it was good, but it wasn't my favorite. I don't know how I feel about this book, honestly. I gotta think. There were parts that were my favorite. I think I'm gonna put it in it was fun, but like, either that or hmm, but I can't decide, so I'm gonna put it there. Then we have the Mindfuck series. This is, this is not the first book, but it's one of them. I never finished it, so I don't know if I could fully read it. I didn't read the last one. I plan on reading it eventually. Um, which one? It was fun indigo ridge this was good i rated this book high but like after thinking about it i don't know if that is like that it was good but i feel like the romance was like not there fully i'm gonna put it in hmm I want to say really quick before we continue, some of my opinions might make some people mad and I'm sorry about that because some of these books in here are people's favorite books and some of them are not my favorite. You know, some of the ones I rate highly, you might be like, what the fuck? It's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. I got to trust my instinct. Zodiac Academy. Hear me out. This book was so fucking good. I love things that are like bad, but are good, like so good. You know what I mean? You just, if you know, you know, it's just a fucking, it's good. It has the fantasy it has the romance it has the spice i am putting it at the top i'm putting it at the top don't like the later books once it gets like into it oh it's so good i love it very much okay the serpent and the wings of night i think i'm gonna put it in it was fun but like because i had no urge to read the second book i have the second book i like kind of started it but then i was just like i don't care but i just was like mm, like it was a good book but i felt like i could just end it on that one and just that's it so that's going there then we have birthday girl this shit was good it was spicy it was Also, I think the girl in the book had the same name as me, which is fun. Um, this is hard. <laughs> like, I'm having a hard time deciding on what I want to do. Putting in it was fun, but like, um, Binding 13. I just read this one recently, and I'm putting it in absolutely slaps. <gasps> is it the first tier? It is so good, but also it was very long. And I feel like I kind of read it at the wrong time in my life, just because of personal things that were happening. It was too painful, but I really enjoyed it. And like the characters are so good. It's going to just stay there. I'm sorry. And we have Praise by someone. By the way, when I looked up this book, like the book cover, this is what came up. I don't know what I expect. I don't know why I expected the book cover to come up from this, but it's just funny that like this is what, what popped up. It was fine. Not really memorable. Not really like I'm gonna put it in kind of like that. 
It wasn't bad, but like I'm putting it kind of like that, so maybe it was. Could have did without, could have did with. It doesn't matter either way. So like it's kind of in between hmm and kind of sec ass, but we're gonna put it in, put it in kind of sec ass. And gods, I listened to this as an audiobook on a drive, a road trip. I'm gonna put it in. It was fun because it was very fun and I enjoyed it a lot. It made me want to read the rest. Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I liked the dude. What even was this book? Didn't they, they like not like each other and they like went on a honeymoon no they went on her sister's honeymoon because her sister couldn't go and it was like already paid for and non-refundable i'm putting it in it was fun i enjoyed it so much happy place by emily henry would sell my soul to read this for the first time again loved this book so fucking much this book altered my brain chemistry altered my life trajectory 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 it altered me i love emily henry so much I will never not read an Emily Henry book that comes out. I just love her. She's gonna do it every time. We have Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I'm gonna put that in. Hmm. It was all right. It was weird. Things happened and the ending pissed me off, but it was a story. Next, we have a deal with the Elf King. First one in our bottom row. Let's hear a little round of applause. This shit sucked. It was bad. I was so excited for it. Like the cover's cute. The whole series, the whole, all the covers are so cute. I was ready for it. And then I read it and it was just bad. I just remember it pissing me off the whole time. Like every character pissed me off. Every thing that happened pissed me off. The plot pissed me off. Everything. Then we have Front of Glass. Okay, let's chat about this one really fast. Because before you get mad at me, this is solely for the first book. I have not read anything after the first book. I do plan on reading the series because I loved other series she's written. It's the first book in a series. It's not gonna be the best thing ever. It's going in kind of sucked ass because I actually disliked it. I read this for a book club. I was reading it. I got maybe like 70 pages in and I was so bored out of my mind that I couldn't read the physical book anymore. Like I couldn't sit down and look at those words any longer like i was actually losing my mind i had to listen to the audiobook because it was so bad so boring i should say like i do believe that the next books are better so like i do want to continue reading it the first book wasn't my fave next we have where the crawl dads sing i'm putting this in absolutely slaps because it, honestly when i first read this book it was so good it was one of the earlier books i read it's just good i don't know it was a good story it had me it had me hooked even the movie was good people did not like the movie but i thought it was good and then we have guild this is for the whole series if i was just talking about the first book i'd put it in kind of sucked ass but i did read the whole series and i'm gonna put it in hmm. the writing is the only reason it's lower because the writing was not my favorite thing i had to skim it ends with us a lot of people hate this book too i don't know where to put this one when i first read it i enjoyed it a lot but after like thinking i don't know i'm gonna put it in it was fun but like because there were parts of it that were not the best but it wasn't horror. Like, I did enjoy the story, but there were parts that were just not. It's very easy to read. Next. We have The Cruel Prince. This whole series, all time favorite series ever to ever exist. We're putting it at the top. Would literally rip my soul out of my body, rip it with my bare hands to fucking read this series again, to go into this world, to do anything. Like I, if you don't like this book, that's fine. But don't talk to me about it. It's my favorite book ever to ever exist. My favorite characters, like I love them with my whole fucking soul and my heart. Like mm, this book is so good. I don't know how people don't like this shit. I don't want to hear any criticism. I don't want to hear anything i don't want to hear it literally do so many things to fucking read this series again and i would do so many things to fucking put my consciousness into this world as one of the characters i don't know like it's just very good and i just really don't want to cry the fairies the fairies not like fairies, but like fairies. Top enemies to lovers ever to ever be. Next we have A Court of Thorns and Roses. This series as a whole is just at the top. It's It will always be at the top. Also, one of my favorite series ever that I've ever read. Found family in this shit. I just, I wish I could read it again for the first time. I really do. Cassian. Cassian. That's all I need to say. We have next, It Happened One Summer. This is gonna be a controversial opinion. Kind of sucked ass. It was just, I didn't like the character. <coughs> Sorry, I just choked a little there. I didn't like the characters. I didn't connect to the characters at all. I just didn't like them. I don't know what happened with that. Something was just off with me and the characters. It just didn't click for me. Then we have We Were Liars. The twist was kind of crazy. I don't, honestly, I don't remember it like that much. What did I rate this? Four stars. Um, I'm gonna put it, it's either in hmm or it was fun, but like, I'm just gonna put it in it was fun. But I don't remember that one enough, honestly. And I see a fourth wing. I didn't mean to put it there but it's going there. One of my top favorite books ever now. Cannot wait for the whole series. Fucking amazing. Things I would do. 
the things I would do for that man are just simply, they're simply crazy. Okay, next we have things we never got over. I'm putting it in kind of sucked ass because I honestly didn't like it. It wasn't the worst. It just wasn't that great to me. It was fucking long. I see how people like it. It just wasn't a romance that I would reread or want to read in general. Shadows Between Us. We have a little joiner down here. Worst book I've ever read. Belongs in the bin. What the fuck was that? Actually, it was so bad. All of the fucking plot just sucked ass and like every time something was revealed or something happened it was like so weird and like lackluster it didn't seem like it even mattered we just flew past it that was a weird experience kind of weird kind of weirded out about that one Nice, we have Flawless. This is in the first book in the Chestnut Spring series. I'm gonna put this at, hmm. It was good, but it wasn't great and it wasn't that good. It's on the same like kind of vibe as things we never got over, but it was definitely better. I do have the second book in here because I read the second book and I do plan on continuing the series because it did get better, but the first book is a no for me. No, it's a because hmm. a cowboy romance that shit kind of slaps i didn't think it was gonna slap like that but it kind of slaps like save a horse you know love in other words by christina lauren immediately top tier would sell my soul to read this again i fucking cried i was sobbing i read this in my this video will end when i find a five star book video it's so fucking good dude oh my gosh <sighs> ending i cried so much and it was so much pain but it was so fucking good all right we need to speed it up girl shatter me this is only the first book because i've only read the first book i'm like half a quarter of the way through the second book i'm gonna put this in hmm. wasn't bad wasn't great it was the first book in a series so like it is what it is also the main character you're in her mind and she's in a spot that's not great so she's not gonna be doing well mentally but like you're in her mind so like reading that was not the best but like it's obviously gonna be like that in the first book it even she even tells you in it like the character is gonna grow throughout the book so it will get better basically i think i will definitely like the later books more next we have the house made by frida mcfadden i want to put it in hmm honestly it was like fine i just honestly didn't like the characters and i know i know it's a thriller you don't need to like the characters it's a mystery thriller but like i didn't like them so much to the point that i felt weird about them like i felt like a little ill it was a decent little mystery thriller but i want more and we have book lovers top Top, top, top. Should I put these in order at the top? I guess I should be putting them in order. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Okay, we're gonna do a little rearranging right now. Is that right? Happy place or love in other words. They're kind of equal. Anyways, book lovers, favorite standalone I've ever read. Truly my, not only favorite romance, but favorite standalone. This shit is so good. I have never connected to a romance like this. The things I would do to fucking read that shit for the first time again. <sighs> She did it with that fucking book. Next we have Crescent City. Putting this one in absolutely slaps. I honestly don't remember a lot from this. From this. I just know it was very good. And I need to read the second one. And I loved it. I enjoyed it. Oh, it was great. I loved the plot. I loved everything. From Blood and Ash. This is going to be about the first two books. And I'm going to put it in absolutely slaps. The later books kind of are not my favorite. Like we lost we lost the plot. And then we have Verity. Putting this one in absolutely slaps too. Actually, should it be at the top? No. Absolutely slaps. It was very good. This book was so good. Wait, I'm going to put it at the first one. Because I need to like be organizing all of these in order. The, this was like the first thriller I've read. And it's just so good. I didn't see any of that coming. You don't know what's going on. You, even at the end, you just have to make your own assumptions of what the fuck happened. And I just thought that was so good. And then we have The Deal. This one is also up here. This was my first hockey romance. Fucking exquisite. Okay, hold on. I feel like this is not right. I need to like order these in order from how much I like because if not it's gonna bother me that the rest aren't right now they're in order as much as they can be at this point what was the last book i put the deal it was cute i loved it the love hypothesis what Ellie hazelwood i love Ellie hazelwood so much this is going in the top for me i enjoyed this book so much it was my favorite romance until i read book lovers it's definitely like up there and still moving on to kingdom of the wicked honestly i thought it was good Second book was good. And then the third book, I didn't understand what was happening. Well, maybe if I reread it, once I don't know what's happening and it's been like a year and I need to read the last book, I don't know what's, I don't remember anything. I don't remember what's going on. How am I supposed to remember? So I'm gonna put it in, it was fun, but like top. Cause it's almost absolutely slaps. If the last book was better, it would have been absolutely slaps. Ugly love. We're putting in kind of sucked ass. I actually did not like this one that much. It was weird. The relationship was weird. The characters were weird. Gave me icky vibes. Was not loving it. Was not feeling it. Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm going to put this one in absolutely slaps. But it's going to go up here. Top. Because it's almost the top, top one. I think I just need to read it again, to be honest. Now that I've, like, experienced things. I've read more. Song of Achilles. I'm going to apologize in advance for this one. Okay. Ooh. 
I didn't like this. We can put it like here. I see why people liked this. It was just not for me. Honestly, I, I would put it lower, but I don't think it belongs in the bin because I know a lot of people enjoyed it. It just wasn't for me. I know, I could see. Not for me, I don't know. I didn't like it at all. It was really boring. And we have people with me on vacation. It's going right up here with the fucking it absolutely slaps because she absolutely fucking slaps. Hey, then we have Twisted Love. Ooh, I kind of want to put this down here with worst book. We'll put it here. The, it's almost worst book, but is it? I kind of want to put it there. kind of hated it. <sighs> Listen, I do not like Alex whatsoever. I think he's grimy. I'm so sorry. If any of that ever happened to me, honestly, it's the ending for me. Like, if that shit, if a man ever fucking did that shit, I'm calling the police. I am calling the police and you're going to jail. I know he's like a billionaire, so he's not gonna go to jail, but like restraining order. Like there are things in books where I'm like, okay, I would never let this happen in real life, but like it's it's fun. I'm having a time. I'm experiencing the book and I'm having fun. But there's things that I read in books and I'm like, I would never do this and let this happen in real life, but I would also never want to read about this. <laughs> I absolutely don't like him. I did continue the series up like a year later, but we'll get to that. The fine print. I'm putting this down here with kind of sucked ass too. Didn't like the characters, didn't really like the story. Their conversations were weird. Kind of banter wasn't for me. We have a good girl's guide to murder. This is going in absolutely slaps. Loved it. A movie's coming out for this and I'm so excited. The girl from Wednesday that played like the werewolf is the main girl in this. I think it's a movie, is it? No, it's a TV show. Whatever it is, I'm excited. Mystery and the way it was done was so good. They may have Heartless, which is the second book in the That's Not Spring series. I'm putting this and it was fun, but like, put it right there. I enjoyed this way more than the second one, but the ending is what was not my favorite. I'm not a fan of that trope. If you've read it, you know. It also kind of made me mad because like everything that happened in the book was kind of about that happening in a different situation. And I didn't like that it had to happen like that. Like, I feel like we could could have just kind of waited. I'm gonna continue the series because I did enjoy it and I do want a cowboy. I do want a cowboy. <laughs> I do indeed. Moving on to Twisted Games, which is the second book in the Twisted series. We're almost at the end. I'm gonna put this in, hmm, cause like it was definitely better than Twisted Love. It was very dragged out. I noticed her books for me just seem long and like a little dragged out in parts. I honestly almost DNF'd this at 50% because what have we been doing for 50% of the book? What have we been doing? Nothing. There's not even like barely any tension. There's not barely any like secret glances in rooms and shit like that. The second half was definitely way better once start, things started picking up. It's like forbidden love type of bad bodyguard princess. They were cute. I'm on Twisted Hate now and I'm 57% in it and I'm liking it so much more than the first two books, like a lot more. I'm an enemies lover's girl through and through. I've seen people say that something bad happens and I'm actually scared. I'm scared because then what if I like hate the book? Then last but not least, we have Six of Crows, which is going all the way at the top. Six of Crows is so good. I, I don't know if I would leave it here because I read this like six, seven years ago. I don't remember a lot. So I do need to reread this. So maybe I should put it like, I'm gonna put it here. I don't know. This is for Six of Crows and Crooked King. Very good. The characters are so good. The heist good. I just don't remember barely any of this shit. I had the fucking books like with the sprayed edges, like the nice ones, the hardcovers. I loaned them to a friend and I never got them back. And now they all of the books have like Netflix printed on the fucking cover. And I'm so upset about that because what the fuck. Anyways, this is my ranking. This is my ranking. Take a look, take a ganda. This is fun. Like I kind of want to do it again. Top two rows. Love. Truly love. We only had two books in the bottom. That's not that bad. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked me ranking these books. That's it for this video. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Kind of rank like romance tropes. Okay, bye. What is this light right here? What is that? Oh, it's the camera. See you next time.